Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. If you are, please be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It would help me out a lot. I'd appreciate it if you could do that, but let's get straight into today's video. Today, we are rebuilding the Los Angeles Lakers while drafting Bruno Fernando. I reckon he'll be a nice addition to this squad here because they don't exactly have a center. They're playing freaking JaVel McGee there, which I mean, he's all right, but I wouldn't put him as my long-term starting center. So yeah, it'd be nice to have a starting center. We're going to keep LeBron probably 100%. Um, Ingram is probably going to get traded and Lonzo maybe, probably, I think. So, yeah, Lonzo and Ingram are going to trade. Kyle Kuzma, I am not going to trade, though. I'm going to move him to small forward, bring him up. Um, and, yeah, that's basically it there. That's basically all that we're going to do. So, let's go straight into the draft. The Lakers do have the fourth pick. Um, if As long as they don't trade it for Anthony Davis, I reckon they should maybe get someone like a, uh, Darius Garland. I reckon it would be nice for them. Yeah, you know, Bruno Fernando, sorry. So, um, yeah, I reckon it would be very nice to get to there. So, let's just sim to the end here. Uh, yep, that's all of that. So, yep, Bruno Fernando, I reckon, would be a nice addition to uh, this Lakers squad here. I reckon it would just be, you know, it would just help them uh, just have a young starting core. Young, um, young core that they could build around and all that. So, uh, let's just see first who's making money here. Lonzo and Ingram. I'd like to see what these two guys can get me because they both have trade value. So, hopefully, something nice comes up. Chris Paul, probably not. DeMar DeRozan, I wouldn't exactly say yes to. Colin Sexton would be alright, but not very likely. Buddy Heald, we don't exactly need a shooting guard. Uh, do we? Who's playing the shooting guard at the moment? Let's just check. Who's playing shooting guard at the moment? No one. We could actually take a shooting guard. I wouldn't say no to Buddy Heald. Getting Buddy Heald would actually be really nice for the team. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get Buddy Hield. I reckon that'd be nice. I'm going to get trade. I think it would be a nice addition to the squad. So we're going to get Buddy Hield by Lisa. I would like to see if I can get rid of this contract so I could get like a uh, point guard in free agency. Could we get uh, rid of this contract, please? Uh, Mitchell Robinson would actually be nice little... Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. He's nice and cheap. I uh, like that. So let's just go over to here, sorry, and go down to the uh, free agency. Because do we now have enough room for a max free agent? We do. So, Kyrie Irving, I, I, I don't know if him pairing him back up with LeBron would be the right idea. But, you know what? I'm just going to shoot my shot. Why the hell not bring him back? Bring, well, not bring him back. Bring him to the Lakers. And he does want to come to the Lakers, which is nice. So, Kyrie. Like, D'Lo would be nice. But, I don't know. Nah, probably not. So, Kyrie is basically the only guy that we really need. So, um, yeah, let's just get Kyrie Irving and uh, renounce rights on basically everyone else because we don't need him. So we have 7 million cap space as well. So we're just going to make sure we get Kyrie. So there we go. We've got a very good thing thing going there. So we've got one. We need a backup point guard. Two backup shooting guard, maybe. Not really. Uh, we're good at small forward. We need a backup power forward, backup small forward. And I think we should be all good there. So if we get a backup power forward or small forward, see who's here. Power forward. Jermichael Green wouldn't be the worst. Um, yeah, you know what? Jermichael Green would be, wouldn't be the worst. So I'll offer him a deal. Uh, shooting uh, Small forward, sorry. Joe Johnson's here. Cephalosha. Hazonia. Mm, probably not the best. You know what? If I just offer Nick Young a deal, hopefully he'd like to come back to LA. And... Um, Point guard, Patrick Beverly. I won't say no to that either. So we get your Michael Green. We kept Patrick Beverly. And I forgot to sign Swaggy P there. Whoops. Uh, is he still here? Uh, yes, he is. Let's uh, make sure we offer it to Swaggy P. No, nope, he went to Houston this time. Okay. Lance Stevenson is here. We can offer him a deal, which we will. Uh, we can offer Rajon Rondo a deal. We'll do that. Um, and yeah, I think we're all good there. So we get Stevenson and Rondo. Oh, apparently, no, we cannot afford him anymore. Love it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's basically all of that that we need to do. So, let's just go over to the roster here. So, actually, trade finder, sorry. So, we've got Kyrie Irving and LeBron James back together. So, hopefully, we are able to bring a championship to the Lakers then. Um, Patrick Beverly is making a lot of money considering he's our backup point guard. <laughs> um, so, who could, I could probably trade uh, Stevenson and Wagner for a or a backup small forward. Maybe if there is anything that comes up. Jordan Bell wouldn't be the worst. 
Juwan Hernan Gomez would be pretty good. Jake Lehman, I, I like that one. I like Jake Lehman as a player. Juwan, we got one year, 23. So yeah, you know what? I'm just going to get Jake Lehman. I have to go up a second and bring on Scalabies. Yeah, but it's not the worst. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. So we definitely have a squad. So I'm going to sim down two training camps and I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, here we are. So we've got three training camps. So that's going to be nice for us. So I'm going to send Kyle Kuzma there to untap potential and probably Buddy Heald as well because I'd like our starting five to be nice. So where's, and then where's Bruno Fernando? I would like to send him to one as well. So he becomes a nice center for us. So. I think I probably uh, yeah I'm probably gonna tr use um Bruno Fernando in the starting lineup. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I need to change with the roster. So uh, let's just go over here. LeBron is starting power forward. Yeah, okay, I'm alright with that. Yeah, and we're gonna be st and we're gonna actually start Bruno Fernando over Mitchell Robinson. Sorry, my guy. Josh Hart. Yeah, I'll give you 10 minutes a night. Layman will get 14. Robinson. Yeah, you'll get 19. Bev will get about 23, and Jamichael will get about 20. 22 a night, probably. So, and then Bruno Fernando, we're going to bring boost his minutes up a bit, move him to 28 minutes a night. Kuz, oh, when you bring Buddy Hill's, min Hill's minutes up as well. Oh, apparently Troy Daniels is getting minutes. That's not happening, my guy. Um, so, we need to bring Buddy Hill's up to 30. Kuz is not playing as that much. Uh, we we'll probably want LeBron playing the most. Um, let's just bring that down a little bit here. Yeah, all right. So you got six more minutes. LeBron, Kuz, uh, Kyrie, Buddy. Yeah, all right. So there we go. That's the rotation we're going with this season. We got ten man rotation. So first scoring options, of course, going to be LeBron, Kyrie, then Kuz. So there we go. System proficiency. Do we have any four stars here, Luke Walton? We do with a balanced system. So we do that. Uh, let's check the power rankings. We're projected ninth, first. <laughs> and nine so hopefully we do get that first i'm going to change the coach's preferred system and i'll see you guys at the end of next season okay so we finished with 51 and 31 in the season james harden is the mvp bowl bowl rookie of the year six man goes to julius randall on the mavs all right Giannis is a defensive and Colin Sexton most improved with mike d'antoni getting coach of the year so any lakers on any of these teams um i Oh, LeBron only making an All-NBA third team. Damn. All right, LeBron. Um, do we get any defensive? We do not. Do we get any rookies? We do get Bruno Fernando there, which is lovely. He's now 78 overall, which is awesome. So we finished as a three seed in the West, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Let's check out the player stats here. Our leading scorer was Kyrie, getting averaging 22.4. Oh, uh, just under, uh, just over five assists. LeBron averaging more assists, so I'm guessing LeBron was the main primary ball handler. And Le Kyrie played off ball a little bit, but there we go. Kuzma was a third leading scorer. Buddy Hield did very nicely fitting into the squad there. Let's check out where Bruno Fernando got. Uh, pretty underwhelming, like an average. Uh, so, eh, rookie season. Hopefully he gets better. Patrick Beverly, Jermichael Green. So there we go. There's all of them stats there. So Josh Hart, what did he shoot? Because he's a three-point shooter, and he was shooting 42%. I love it. Love it. So, team stats. Points per game, we were second. Defensively, we were middle of the pack. So, not too good. But here we go. We got San Antonio in the first round. So, hopefully, uh, we can get past San Antonio. Um, yeah, I think we probably sh could. Like, uh, I don't know. We probably could if we can, if we tried. But uh, yes, we do get through them finally. We took seven games. <laughs> took seven games to get through them, but we got the, uh, the um, Thunder in the uh, second round. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can beat the Thunder here. If we do, we don't have home court, so and at the moment we're down. So uh, I don't know if we can beat the Thunder here. I don't mind. We do get eliminated in the second round to the Thunder, which I don't exactly mind too much. Um, but yeah, basically, what could I do this next season? Maybe deep in our bench, I guess. Because our starting five is pretty good. Maybe trade Buddy Heald. I'm not sure, entirely sure yet, if we should trade Buddy Heald or not. Like, he's a solid starting shooting guard, but I don't know if he's, like, that amazing good one for, to, for us to win a championship. But okay, so yeah, the champions with Russell Westbrook getting finals MVP. So... I need to turn on rule changes because we need to change the lottery because we need to change the lottery odds so we need to turn on rule changes real quick Ooh. we need to turn that on and uh, let's just go over here league meetings 
Let's go to that. That. Um, let's get rid of that reject. And we want to go replace with that pick there. Thank you. Approve that. Oh, we need to de reject that one real quick. So that's the only one that's getting approved. Awesome. Let's just go down to the lottery. Uh, do we have anyone else's pick? I don't think we do. So if we just go to the lottery. Yeah, I don't see any yellow. So we don't have any picks whatsoever. I mean, we have our pick, but that's at 27. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Yeah, we don't. We have only got the 27th pick. So hopefully we could maybe get someone good in free agency or something. I don't know. Uh, we're good with trainer, assistant. G oh, we need a new assistant GM. That's that's horrendous. Could we bring this bloke here? Oh, he wants so much money, but his stats are good. Uh, Jacob Underwood. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll get Mike Storfer. I'll get Mike Storfer. Why the heck not? Last time I got him, we did very well. And assistant coach will get Trent Peterson. So hopefully these guys all like to come. Yes, they do. So we're good staff wise. Let's sim down to the draft here. Um, so yeah, we could maybe trade someone like a, uh, off the bench, like maybe a Josh Hart. Oh, Josh Hart has a player option and all that, doesn't he? Yeah, so I have to wait until after the draft. So we can't offer up our pick. Uh, so yeah, let's just go into the draft. Let's sim to the user pick here. Hopefully we can pick up someone who will be a nice solid, uh, bench piece for us here. Um, so who's here? Anton Watson. Anton Watson looks alright. He's a small forward. Yeah, sure, we'll take him from Gonzaga. So there we go. We've also got a second round pick, not too good because it's like fourth last. <laughs> Excuse me. So we're just going to take Herb Jones here. Um, oh, I got the hiccups. Excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, that's basically it there. So Ricky signings, Anton Watson, 95 overall. Nice little bench piece for us, I'm guessing. Kuzma, Robinson, Hart, and Bonga. All of those guys are coming back. And qualifying offers, we need to bring back Buddy Heald. I won't offer those ones there, but Buddy Heald I'd like to try and bring back. But first... I'm actually going to try and see what I can get for Hart and Bonga. See if I could get like a better backup shooting guard for the team. Because Hart, I mean, he's alright, but like we could do better. Landry Shamet, um, Dylan Wright. Miles Bridges is pretty good, but he's a small forward. Jalen Brunson. Mm, okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't do better. <laughs> like, we could get Tyreek. Tyreek's not bad. Uh, like Jalen Brunson if when we move him to shooting guard he does go up Luke Kennard Danny Green Alfarik Mikael Bridges can he shoot three ball I think he can shoot the three ball can't he he's a B minus what did he shoot from three last season from three he shot 35% it's not bad. Not really worth it. I might actually keep Josh Hart then. So let's just see what uh, Anton Watson and Bonga could get me then. This is uh, just out of curiosity just to see what I could get. Tristan Thompson would be nice. Big man. Um, Okogi, Javel, really nothing. All right. So it looks like I'm not doing any trades. So we're going to go into the free agency here and get Buddy healed back. Because that's the guy that we want to bring back mainly. So we'll bring that him back. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I really care about right now. I don't really mind about anyone else here. Just Buddy. That's all I would like. Just making sure we get him. We do. Which is awesome. So, we've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we do have enough players. We don't exactly need Anton Watson. We, well, we could get rid of Jake Lehman, I guess, then. Yeah, if we got rid of Jake Lehman... So what if we went Buddy Heald and Jake Lehman? Could that get us a better shooting guard? Could it? I'm not 100% sure. We oh, Malcolm Brogdon would be not. Zach Levine. Ooh. I can't say no to Zach Levine. Yeah, I'm getting Zach Levine here. Zach Levine is just going to make our, make our shooting guard's position too OP. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We do have 10 players. I, I just want to see... Okay, yeah, might as well while I'm here. While I'm buff making everything better. Just to see what Jim Michael Green and say... Isaac Bonga can get me. Because well, I'm not going to use Isaac. And Jim Michael, if we can get a better backup power forward, I won't say no to that one at all. Um, Jonte Porter would be pretty good. But I'm looking for that upgrade. Which at the moment I cannot see. Like power forward. Nah, there's really nothing here. So it looks like we're sticking with Jermichael Green, which I'm not 
I'm, I'm fine with, to be honest. Uh, anything? Davis Burton. Hmm. Let's just offer him a deal, see if he'll come here and then use him in a trade. Okay, so we do get Davis Burton's. So then if we go here and go Jermichael Green and Burton's, could that get me a better power forward in Tristan Thompson? Or Marcus Morris? Tristan Thompson and move him to the power forward. I kind of like that a bit more. So yeah, so I'm going to do that. I also get Zizic as well. So I'm going to go here. Tristan Thompson, where you at? I'm just rebuilt. I'm just making this the 2016 Cavaliers team. <laughs> so let's just go down to the training camps. I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, here we go. So let's go down to untapped potential. Um... Zach Levine, we got to boost that up, man. A minus is just not going to cut it for a starting caliber shooting guard. Uh, Bruno Fernando, we want to bring him up to an A minus, which is going to be nice for us. And uh, untapped potential, probably Mitchell Robinson, maybe. Josh Hart would be nice to bring up as well. Uh, Anton Watson's a B plus, but Josh Hart, we'll bring up Josh Hart as well. Be a good stuck backup shooting guard for us coming off the bench. Get some depth in there. So. Yeah, so let's go to the uh, rotation here. So Tristan Thompson wants to start. Uh, nah, I'm going to keep Kuzma there. And uh, Bruno Fernando, I would like to start as well. So we're going to give Mitchell Robinson a little bit less minutes, sorry. Um, Zizic, you're not going to get any minutes, my guy. Sorry, my guy. Anton Watson. We could just send him to the G League. We don't need him this season. So yeah, we'll send him to the G League. Josh Hart, you're only going to get about 12 minutes a night. Bev, you're going to get about 14. Mitchell Robinson, 19. And Tristan Thompson, you're going to get about 20 minutes a night. Bruno Fernando, let's bring you up to about 30. Kuz, uh, I'm actually going to swap that around. Because um, LeBron is probably a bit more fit for the power forward position. I'm just bringing everyone's minutes up a little bit here. Um, yeah, so our starting five... I start. we got a big, like, three slash four there. With some guy, good guys coming off the bench for us, which is going to be nice. So we got 12 more minutes we can actually give her out, give out here. So um, let's just boost that up a little bit. Yeah, let's boost LeBron up to about 35 a night. Yeah, so I reckon that's a pretty good rotation there. And then before I forget, I'm going to move Antoine Watson down to the G League. Just so he progresses nicely for us. And then let's just go over to here. So first scoring option is going to be LeBron. Second, Kyrie. Third, Kuz. Yeah, I'm going to keep it as Kuzma. So there we all go. Let's just check the proficiency. Four stars. Uh, is there any four stars? Yeah, seven seconds. That's not bad. Yeah, you know what? I might as well do it. I'm going to go seven seconds there. I'm going to change the coach's preferred system in a bit. Let's check the power rankings. Projected one seed, one seed, and three seed. So that's good. Hopefully we stick to that. I'm going to simulate this season, and I'll see you guys then. All right, so we finished with 60 wins on the seasons, which is awesome. LeBron is the MVP. Jaden McDaniels, rookie of the year. Trey jo excuse me, Trey Jones, sixth man of the year. Anthony Davis, defensive of player of the year. Clint Capella, most approved, and Mike Storfer, coach of the year. So we do get LeBron coming back into the All-NBA first team, which is awesome. Do we have any more Lakers here? We do not. So do we get any defensive Lakers? We don't. Okay. And we don't have any rookie Lakers because our rookie went to the G League. So we are the one seed in the West, which is awesome. Very good this season. So LeBron averaging 26 points, 26, 7, and 8. That's awesome from LeBron there. He's got 40 badges. Holy moly. Kyrie Irving, good backup with 22.8 points, seven, uh, 4 and 7, which I'm liking. Uh, Kyle Kuzma improving a nicely there. Same with Zach Levine. Zach Levine is a very good player to have on our team. Just under 20 points per game. Um, Bruno Fernando progressing nicely. His uh, stats came up a little bit from last season. How much did they come up? Oh, uh, yeah. He averaged one more point and uh, more assists, more rebounds. So, very nice. I love the progression seeing that there. Tristan Thompson coming off the bench. Isn't 85 overall now? Holy moly. Um, yeah, so we have a very solid team here. That's just lovely. Team stats, points per game, we were number one. And defensively, however, we were top ten, though. So, we got first round against Portland. Hopefully, we can beat Portland here in the first round. Get through to the second round, take on either Phoenix or New Orleans. This is a much better season than last season. We could finish with 60 wins. I love it. As When I classify a season as a good season, if we win over 60 games or 60 games or over, that's, that's right. So, yep, <laughs> we did that. So, now we've got New Orleans in the second round. Hopefully, we can do this because, you know... New Orleans, we should be able to beat AD. We've got four great players, four all, almost all-star all players. So it should be nice and breezy through to the Western Conference Finals, who we have Houston here. 
um, who still have Chris Paul, James Harden, and Clint Capella. They added Alfre Camino. I actually like that pickup, getting Alfre Camino. That's actually a nice pickup. I like that. So let's just take a game by game here against the Rockets. We should be able to beat these guys. I think LeBron should be able to take these guys out. I don't think anyone proper would be able to guard LeBron. Yeah, we're three out, nothing up. And, uh, oh, I thought we were going to get three with the sweep. Alrighty. Alrighty. Come on, we got to win a game here. Thank you. We do win in six. We got the Pacers in the uh, finals who have Oladipo, uh, Sabonis. Sabonis is starting over Turner. All right. Thad Young. So they have like a very all-round team. They're very, they're, they have a very all-round team. There's like Oladipo, but then everyone else is like pretty damn good. Well, not pretty damn good, like or borderline all-star, I guess you could say. So let's just take it game by game. Hopefully we can beat the Pacers here, win, bring a championship back to the to Los Angeles um, and uh, yeah it would be nice if we can do that and we do with LeBron getting finals MVP averaging 22.6 points I love it so let's advance to the next season so we are champions which I like um, so that means we don't really have to make any uh, changes to the team here uh, let's just oh well, sugar that's the wrong button uh, reject everything here because nothing needs to be changed I like it uh, let's just go down to the lottery do we have any picks we do not. Okay, I don't mind that. So we don't have any picks. We've got ours, which is 30th. Uh, staff signing. We need a new trainer. Good thing I came in here because we need a new trainer. Um, and CFO will probably will take a new one of those. Benjamin, sure, mate. Come to the Lakers. Thank you. So let's go down to the draft. With 30th pick, uh, I don't think we should. We could be able to get anyone good for the 30th pick. Um, I mean, like, maybe someone fell to us. Who's that? Nefali Dante. I don't know who that is. So uh, sure, we'll take him. I guess, uh, and yeah, that's basically it, let's go to rookie signings, Dante, yeah, he's been a nice piece for us, team player options, Bruno Fernando, we're bringing back, I think we got to re-sign, yeah, we got to re-sign Hart, Kuzma, Hart and Kuzma are the two that I like to bring back more than most of the other guys, so let's just go down to Birdright, who I've got, got bright rights on, uh, Kuzma and Hart, so Kuz, I'll offer that deal to Hart, I'd offer that deal to, I got another one, and I might as well... You know what? I actually don't want to bring those guys back. They're asking for way too much money. <laughs> oh, we also got to bring back Pat, Pat Bev. Good thing I looked down there because uh, Patrick Beverly we kind of need as well. So if we go like that, let's just make sure we get these two blokes. Hopefully Patrick Beverly doesn't get picked up in the moratorium here. I think he did. I think he did. Damn, alright. So we need a backup point guard. Alright point guard in Jeremy Lin wouldn't be too bad actually yeah I like Jeremy Lin uh, he's a bit old let's just get Thomas here let's just offer him a deal hopefully he would like to take that one up here yes he does so do we have everyone we need we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten where's LeBron what the hell LeBron retired you're 36 why are you retiring what no no you just won MVP, man. No. What? Is there a way that I can bring him back? Has anyone had that where they just... LeBron just decides to leave the team? If you have, let me know in the comments because I'd like to know. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to keep going with the rebuild, even without LeBron, you know? Alright, so let's just go down to training camps. I'll see you guys then. Like, why did LeBron retire? I, I don't know why he retired. Like, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, let's just look here. So, I gave one to Anton Watson. I give one to Josh Hart. And I'll give one to Dante, I guess. Or... Hmm... Tristan Thompson, sure. Why the hell not? So let's advance to the next season. Let's just see what we can do without LeBron, I guess. <laughs> because I am think we, we still have a championship contender, I reckon. Because we got one, two... Yeah, we have a very good starting five. So, like, we still have a championship contender. Um, let's just maybe give uh, less minutes to that bloke. <laughs> I don't think he needs that many minutes. And I don't think Isaac Bonga needs minutes. Dante doesn't need minutes. We're not having an 11-man rotation. That's just ridiculous. That's way too many. Just way too many people to like give minutes to, if I'm being honest. So yeah, if we do that, Bruno Fernando can get about 31, 32. Kuz, I'm expecting you to do big things here. You're taking the mantle over from LeBron. Alright. 
Kyrie, I'm also going to give you minutes, man. I'm going to stack your minutes up, mate. You're going to be carrying this squad. I need you to carry this, please. All right. So first scoring option is going to be Kyrie. First scoring option, Kyrie Irving. Second, Zach Levine. Third, actually, no, I'm going to go second, Kuzma. Third is Zach Levine. So <laughs> proficiency, do we have any four-star ones here? No, we don't. So I'm sticking with seven seconds. Power rank is projected three seed, one seed, four seed. So hopefully we can go back to back. I don't know why LeBron didn't uh, retire. Who knows? But I'll see you guys at the end of this season. Alrighty, so without LeBron, I reckon uh, we did pretty good. We only got one less win than last season. So Giannis is the MVP. BJ Boston, Rookie of the Year. RJ Barrett, sixth man. Giannis is defensive. And Trey Jones, most improved. With Mike Storfer getting coach of the year. So do we get any... Uh, Lake is here. Kyrie did do a bit, which is nice, nice for us. So, and we did get anyone defensively. No, we don't. Uh, and we get Anton Watson as an all-rookie second team player, which is lovely. So we do f end up finishing them as a first seed anyway, even without LeBron. So, yeah, let's check the player stats. Kyrie went off. I just loaded him up with minutes, and he went off. He went off. Without LeBron, he just thrives. So he averaged 27.1 and 7 assists. I love it. Zach Levine and Gavit with that little bit more of a scoring role. Scored that little bit more. Get 21 points. 19.2 for Kyle Kuzma. Bruno Fernando improving nicely. I love it. Anton Watson coming off of the bench for us, which is nice. Tristan Thompson pulling down boards, which is what we kind of wanted him to do. A little bit, I don't know. I would like him to score a little bit more, but it's all right. Josh Hart coming off the bench, doing things. Yeah, so basically everyone on the team doing what they needed to be done. Points per game were first, and def defensively we were top 10 as well. So Portland again in the first round. Hopefully we can beat these guys, move on to the second round. Hopefully get another championship and bring another championship to the Lakers. It'd be good if we can. We do finish, we do beat Portland in four games and we got Denver in the second round. So let's check, just simulate current round against Denver here. We should be able to beat these guys considering we swept Portland. I mean, it's the fourth seed, the fourth seed uh, Denver Nuggets. So hopefully we can. And uh, we do, we do beat Jokic and we got the six seeded Pelicans. Do they still have AD? I'm guessing they still have AD. They got Jar Morant. Ooh, they picked Jar Morant number one, which I mean, that's actually a solid pick. Keeping Drew Holiday, Wendell Moore, Jerome Parker. That's actually a solid 2K team. Jarrett Allen, they traded for Jarrett Allen, all right. That's actually a solid team, if I'm being honest. It's a real solid team. So that's just, oh, I accidentally pressed sim current, current round. I didn't mean to. Uh, and we're down 3-0. Let's stop the simulation here. Hopefully we can uh, win a game here because we need to win this game. And uh, we're going to go down, are we? Oh no, we've come up. We've pulled away a little bit. Thank you. Whew, thank goodness. We do win a game at least. We're still on the brink of elimination. We need to win four straight. Kyrie has done it before, but not without LeBron. And we don't have LeBron here, so... Yeah, basically that's it. Oh, if we do win two though. Could we win this one away from home? This is the big one. If we can't win this one, yeah, then there's no point. Like If we win this one, then we have to take it home and try and win on the uh, at home. Which would be a lot easier than winning. Then, oh, we do win this game. Oh, it could be anyone series here. We do have momentum. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Surely we can win this one at home. If we can win four straight. Oh, you're, you're, you're kidding. You're kidding. I got too confident. No. No. Box score. Let's just see what happened. Kuz did things. Kyrie kind of choked. He, oh, he did choke. He shot seven for 18. Oh, man. What? Oh, you're kidding. Ja Morant basically carried them. AD kind of choked as well. He got shot 6 for 14. All right. Damn. All right. So we couldn't pull off the winning four straight again. So here was the roster. If we had LeBron, it would have been be looking a lot better. But you know what? I'm quite happy with this one considering we'd still finish as a first seed without LeBron. So that means our team was pretty good. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'd appreciate it if you guys could do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.